Now, before going to question and answer sessions, let us quickly summarize this chapter. Okay, what we have learned in this chapter? First of all, we have learned about mirrors. The mirrors are of two types. One is the concave mirror and convex mirror. The concave mirror is used for the convergence and convex mirror is used for the divergence. Now, we have studied in detail the six ray diagrams or line diagrams for the concave mirrors. After that, we learn many ray diagrams or six ray diagrams where the object position and image position, let us summarize it quickly. When the object was at infinity, the image was a point image at F. When the object was between infinity and C, that is the center of curvature, the image falls between C and F. When the object was at C, we got image also at C. And when the object was kept between F and C, then the image was beyond C. When the object was at F, then the image was at infinity. And when the object was placed between F and P, that is a pole of the mirror, then the image was behind the mirror. Okay, so this is in short what we saw. And then we saw what are the applications that is depending on where the object or the light source should be kept. When the light source is kept at different positions, we can use the concave mirror for different application. We have already seen that in detail. Just to summarize it, we use in torches, headlights, projectors or the projection systems, then the solar devices and shaving or dentist mirrors. So now let us see the summary for lenses. We have learned two types of lenses. One is convex lens and one is concave lens. You know that convex lens is converging type and concave lens is diverging type. We have seen the ray diagrams or the line diagrams for the convex lens and object and image, position of object and images we have seen detail in those diagrams. Whenever your object is at infinity, the image is on F2, at F2. Now whenever this object is beyond 2F1, that is infinity and 2F1, the image you get between F2 and 2F2. Whenever the object is at 2F1, you get image as 2F2. If the object is placed between F1 and 2F1, then you will get the image beyond 2F2. If object is at F1, then the image will be at infinity. And when it is object is kept between F1 and C, the image will get on the same side of the lens. Then we have seen the defects or the problems in eye, problems in vision. We have seen myopia, hypermetropia and presbyopia. And what lenses we use for that? For myopia, we use concave lens. For hypermetropia, we use convex lenses. And for presbyopia, we use combination of lenses or the bipolar lens. We also have studied the human eye. So before going to problem sections, there are the question and answers and problem sections. What I want you to do is draw the line diagrams, all the 12 line diagrams we have learned thoroughly. You should able to draw this diagram within two minutes. Okay, even the human eye, you should be able to draw in two minutes. Don't unnecessarily show your drawing skills. Okay, this is not exam of your excellent drawings. The drawing should be perfect and scientific. Okay, label your diagrams properly. But in short, any science diagram must be drawn within two to three minutes, depend on the complexity of figure. So you have to practice that hard. Now let us go to question answers and problem solving session for Wonders of Light part 1. Thank you.